Hey, Jimmy with Cuff and Stuff. Man, we got another good one for you today. <laughs> We're gonna do a pork tenderloin sandwich. Oh my goodness, is this thing so good? I was in the mood for a sandwich. Today, we're gonna do one you're gonna wanna see. So, hang tight. Okay, what we've got is this is two pieces of tenderloin that you can find at the grocery store anywhere. We have put this in a one gallon bag. We're gonna marinate it. This is Killer Hogs. This is Michael Reed's vinegar sauce. We're gonna put it in. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight and we're gonna let it marinate. So tomorrow we'll bring you back. Okay, well here's what we've done. We have Uncle Steve's smoke bomb. We have just moderately sprinkled smoke bomb over the top. There we go. Of these two pork tenderloins. All right, let's move over and we're gonna put these on the grill. Okay, well, after about 15, maybe 20 minutes, we've let these tenderloins hang out with Uncle Steve's and we're gonna take and put these both on the grill. Now you see we've got the charcoal over here. This is a cooler zone. We're gonna take and put the top on it and we're gonna let this go. Now I'm shooting for 145 degrees. That's the safe temperature on pork. Now I probably am gonna stop a little before that, maybe 140, two or three degrees be below that maybe because it'll continue to cook and it'll finish but that's where we're going. So I'm gonna watch the grill temperature. I want it to cook between 225 and 250. And that's where I want the pork to come up to. So I'm probably gonna check the interior or internal temperature of that also. So stick with me and I'll bring you back. Okay, we're about an hour in. Let's check on what we got here. Mm, okay. Mm. Okay. All right. So it's time to add our glaze. Let's add our glaze. And we're going to finish this off. Okay. We're going to take our little mop here. We're gonna mop down these tenderloins with a little barbecue sauce. Now, you use whatever you find your family likes. This is one we happen to like. We are coming up on about 140. So, all right. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. Let's cover him up. Let that glaze set. And we'll bring you back. Okay. We've given this just a few minutes. Oh yeah, isn't that beautiful? Look at the color we've got on that. All right, let's take it off. All right, we're gonna carry this over 
to the table and we're going to fix our sandwich. And when I do, you know, I'll bring you back. Okay. All right. Well, let's fix up our spread. Uh, this is something I'm going to do. I'm going to take one, two, three big heaping tablespoons of what else? Right here in South Carolina, Duke's mayonnaise, right? All right. And I'm going to take just a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning and just enough to heavily cover the top. And let's stir it up, see how it looks. I want to see this seasoning. Put a little more in there. I want to see the green flakes all the way through it. There we go. All right. Now. That's our spread. And that's all we're going to do to it. Oh, man, is this good stuff. All right. Now. Let's take... And we're going to cut this at just a little bit of angle. This is our tenderloin. And we're going to cut it fairly thin. Oh, my goodness. And look at this. Look how juicy this is. And this is probably an eighth of an inch, maybe, that I'm cutting it. two of these and I can promise you this is going to make a sandwich that you won't believe. You got to try this. Mm. All right. That's the whole thing cut up. All right. Let's get my spoon. I'm going to spread this out over the whole thing here. And let's take our pieces of this tenderloin and we're going to lay this down right on top of that. Oh my goodness, does this smell delicious. All right. Next, I have got some uncured ham. This is a smoked ham. You can buy this just right off the grocery store shelf. Let's take and put this down on top of it. <laughs> Uh, I can't help but make a heck of a good sandwich when I'm just making it for me. Oh my goodness. All right. There we go. Now, next. What do we need on our sandwich? How about Swiss cheese? Two, three. Let's put three on there. Next, this is white sweet onion. I'm going to put that on top of it. Oh my goodness. And what's left? This is some dill. Pickle. On top of that. 
and that's it. All right, I'm going to take and put a little more of this spread on the top. And that's our sandwich, except one thing. I'm going to go back to the grill. So I'll bring you right back. All right. I've gone right back on that grill with that whole sandwich. I want to melt the cheese and toast the buns just a little bit. So maybe five minutes, I'll bring you back. Okay. All right, we've taken them off the grill. We've let the cheese melt. Let's cut through. Let's see what we've got. Oh my goodness, look at that. Is that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Only one thing left to do. We gotta take a bite. All right, here we go. Let's dive in. Mm. My goodness, that is good. The bread's nice and crunchy. The vinegar, barbecue sauce, oh my gosh. I can taste it. The smoke bomb, Uncle Steve, that's a perfect mixture. Oh my goodness. The pork, ham, crunchy in the pickles. I gotta go back, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. That's too good. You're gonna have to try this sandwich. I'm just telling you what I know. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. If you haven't already, hit the circle on this side, subscribe. I'll have another video for you over there. Until next time, hang tight.